how to become fluent in English by the end of 2024. If you do this one simple exercise every single day for the next 365 days, there is no reason, there is no excuse why you should not be able to become fluent in the English language. Okay, let's begin. So this one exercise, let's break it down into five extremely simple steps. Okay, step number one, you need to find content. You need to find content specifically in English. This is extremely easy to do because most of the content out there in the media is in the English language. Okay. Typically, I would recommend that you use a social media platform to consume this media. You can use YouTube, you can use Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whichever one you prefer. For example, you can whip out a TikTok, watch a video, which leads me to step number two. You need three elements to consume your English media properly. Okay. You need to consume this English media properly. So for example, you need three basic elements, English audio, English subtitles, and then also imagery. Okay. As you're consuming the English media, you need to associate the words that you hear and the words that you read with actual imagery on the screen. This is always best in the form of a video, but there are many different ways you can do this. If you're closer to the beginner level, um, you can use applications like Fluent U. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description. It basically generates subtitles in your native language and in the English language side by side. If you're closer to the advanced level, um, I think that you should be good just with English subtitles and English audio. Step number three, after you consume this English media, you need to form an opinion. Okay. You need to form an opinion and critically think in the English language. For example, let's say I take out this TikTok video and let's just say it's about the accents of English. Okay. I'm going to now stop, make sure I understood everything that I just listened to and everything that I just watched and read. And then I'm going to form my opinion. You should be asking yourself questions that are open ended. For example, do I agree with what this person is saying in the video? Do I disagree with what this person is saying in the video? How does this video or what the person said make me feel? How does this make me feel? Ask yourself some open ended questions so that you can form an opinion. This can be about any subject. So try to find content that you're actually interested in, and then it will be very, very easy to form an opinion or have some extra thoughts about what you just watched. Okay. And now the TikTok algorithm is really good for this. It's really good at feeding you content about things that you're interested in. And it's also really short for the most part. So I think that this is really easy to consume if you're trying to pick a platform to learn English from. Okay. Now this leads me to step number four, which is you need to type and or write. Okay. Now the day that this video has been recorded is in December of 2023. I would recommend that you practice texting and typing much more than actually writing, especially for learning a language. Okay. Because when you type or when you text, there are actually spell check tools that will correct your English grammar or correct all the grammatical mistakes that you're making for the most part. Okay. If you're closer to the beginner level, a good tool could be Grammarly. It'll give you better and more suggestions. If you're closer to the advanced level, you can honestly just use a Microsoft Word document, a Google Doc, or the notes application on your phone, which is what I typically use uh, when I practice my writing or my texting. So you just whip out the notes application, and you can start writing notes. So let's say that I just watched a video, for example, about the different accents of the English language. I would take out my notes application and I would start typing about a hundred words, more or less. I'd say, do I agree with what they're saying? I think this person is crazy for suggesting that the British accent of English is better than the Canadian accent of English. I just expressed my opinion. Okay. I'll carry on. I'll say, I personally believe that the Canadian accent of English is the most beautiful accent of the English language. Lots of people will disagree with me on that. 
but this is my opinion. Okay. You can type anything along the lines of that. Just type what you thought about the video. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And how does it make you feel? Something so simple. Now that leads to step number five, which is you need to speak English, but you need to really speak English out loud. You need to physically train your mouth to pronounce words and speak out loud in English. Okay. So if you're closer to the beginner level, you can take your notes, read them word for word, physically out loud. So you can train your mouth to speak. If you're closer to the advanced level, put your phone down and just practice expressing yourself as if you were face to face with another native English speaker. Okay. You can do this when you're alone. <laughs> so you don't look like you're crazy. Are you crazy? in front of other people. Uh, but you can do this when you're in the shower. Um, the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning by yourself or when you go to bed by yourself, um, just have these little monologues, these little conversations with yourself. If you can do this every day consistently, you're going to see extreme results. Okay. You're going to see a huge difference um, in terms of your English communication skills and your level of English fluency just by having these conversations by yourself. Some of you guys will prefer to speak with a real person. You don't want to practice expressing things by yourself. Okay. If you're going to find a speaking partner who is a native English speaker out of all the different applications that I've used for language applications, I would recommend LanguaTalk. You can easily find a native English speaker on here. They are legitimately qualified English tutors who have experience making people fluent in the English language. So I would say there is nobody better to learn English from and have English conversations with than these people. So you can book lesson for free. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description. No risk. You can book the first one free. If you like it, cool. You can continue. If you don't like it, you can just walk away. There's no risk. And those are the five steps. So quickly to recap, number one, find content, pick up your phone, find a social media page, find content. Okay. Step number two, consume the content properly. Make sure there's English audio, English subtitles and imagery. Okay. Step number three, form an opinion. Collect your thoughts. Think about how this made you feel. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, think critically. Okay. Step number four, type and write the opinions that you're forming in your head. You can use a notes application. Super easy. And then step number five, you need to speak. You need to practice speaking English. You got to speak, speak, speak physically. Train your mouth to speak. Do not speak in your head. Do not speak in a way that is not realistic, how you would speak to another person who's standing in front of you. Make sure you're speaking as organically as humanly possible. This may not feel natural at first, but it will definitely wash over with time if you do this little exercise every single day. Okay. Those are the five simple steps for this one exercise. This doesn't have to take long. You can watch a short little video on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube shorts or a video that's a little bit longer, like the one you're watching right now. This doesn't need to take 10 hours. This could take 10 minutes. Okay. So do this one little exercise every day for 365 days, and you will see a huge, a massive difference in your ability to communicate fluently in the English language. I promise you, I can almost guarantee that. So that is all for today. If you have any questions whatsoever about learning the English language, just leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to address it. And if you want a more detailed version of my step-by-step -step guide of how to become fluent in English and how long it's going to take you based on your current level of English, um, I'll leave a link somewhere in the description or the pinned comments and you can download that guide. I'll send you the email with the PDF for free, my gift to you. Okay, that's all. Until next time. Peace.